In today's episode, you will learn how to make an RC jet plane and design your own wireless transmitter and receiver circuits based on the NRF24L01PA plus LNA transceiver modules and Arduino boards. While working on this project, unfortunately, I damaged the two axis analog joystick module. As you know, a joystick is simply a combination of two potentiometers used for the X axis and Y axis values. To control the up, down and left, right movement of the RC plane, I used two potentiometers on the transmitter side along with a push button. When the push button is not pressed, you can control the up and down movement of the servo motors. To control the left right movement, you will need to press the push button and then you can rotate the knob of the potentiometer. This will control the left right movement of the RC jet plane. The third potentiometer is used for controlling the speed of the 1000 kV brushless DC motor. Let's take a quick look at the components used in the making of the transmitter and receiver circuits and then I will explain the circuit diagrams, making and programming. This is the receiver side consists of the Arduino Nano, NRF24L01 transceiver module, a decoupling capacitor and mail headers for connecting the ESC and two servo motors. This is the 30 ampere speed controller a 1000 kV brushless DC motor and 11.1 volt 2200 mAh LiPo battery pack. I will explain the connections in the circuit diagram. This is the transmitter side consists of the same NRF24L01 transceiver module Arduino, a push button and three potentiometers which are used for controlling the speed, left, right and up down movement. If you want to make 5 to 15 km long range RC plane, then you can watch my previous tutorial based on the 15 km LoRa transceiver modules by the Rex Technologies. In this episode, we will go through all the steps. Number 1. Assembling the SO27 RC plane parts. Number 2. The RC plane transmitter and receiver circuit diagrams complete explanation. Number 3. Transmitter and receiver side code explanation and finally number 4 testing. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. The connections on the transmitter side are very simple. The VCC and ground pins of the NRF24L01 transceiver module are connected with the Arduino's 3.3V and ground pins. A decoupling capacitor of 10 microfarad is connected between the power supply pins. For the best performance, you can use a dedicated 3.3V power supply. The CE pin is connected with the Arduino pin number 9. The CSN pin is connected with pin 10. SCK is connected with pin 13. MOSI is connected with pin 11. And finally, the MISO pin of the NRF24L01 is connected with the Arduino pin number 12. A push button is connected between the ground and pin number 2 of the Arduino. The left and right legs of all the three potentiometers are connected with the Arduino's 5 volts and ground, while the metal legs are connected with the Arduino's analog pins A0, A1 and A2. So that's all about the transmitter circuit diagram. Now let's have a look at the receiver circuit diagram. The NRF24L01 transceiver module connections with the Arduino remains the same. Three wires of the 1000 kV brushless DC motor are connected with the 30 ampere speed controller. The yellow wire should be connected with the metal wire of the speed controller, while the red and black wires are connected with the other two wires of the speed controller. If the brushless motor rotates in the wrong direction, you can simply interchange these two wires. On the other side of the speed controller, we have a total of five wires. 
The red and black wires are the power supply wires and these should be connected with a LiPo battery pack red and black wires. The black and red wires are connected with the three male headers and also with the VN and ground pins of the Arduino Nano. This 5 volt is used to power up all the electronics. The white wire is connected with the Arduino pin number 3. Through this wire we control the speed of brushless DC motor. The signal wires of both the servo motors are connected with the Arduino's pins 5 and 6. You can see a jumper is connected between the reset pin and pin number 8 of the Arduino while working on the NRF24 L01 transceiver modules. You will notice one prominent thing that is the connection is lost. If the receiver's wireless connection with the transmitter is lost for 2 seconds, the Arduino will automatically reset. The time duration can be changed in the programming. While uploading the program, make sure you remove the jumper cape, otherwise the program won't upload. After uploading the code, you can place the jumper cap. So that's all about the receiver circuit diagram. I soldered all the electronics on the Vero boards and completed my connections as per the circuit diagram already explained.
I temporarily connected the servo motors and the brushless DC motor to perform my initial tests. My second test after fixing all the electronics on the RC plane. Finally, I performed a final test after fixing the stickers. The RC jet plane is based on two programs. One program is written for the transmitter side while the other program is written for the receiver side. The libraries used can be downloaded from our website electronicclinic.com. I have tried my level best to keep the coding as simple as possible. For the complete step-by-step -step code explanation read my article. I will provide a link in the description. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.